dolls welcome back to my youtube channel i've got a new video for you guys this is how i do my makeup step by step so if you're interested in this look just stay tuned and keep watching so now i'm just taming my eyebrow with um, a spoolie brush i would definitely recommend getting your eyebrows done beforehand either threading or waxing i just find that by doing this you get a better appearance so i'm using um dip down by mac on my eyebrows i really 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 love the consistency of this product um, it's really dark. I love my eyebrows really dark so I think it works perfect for me and what I really like about it as well, to me anyway, is smudge proof. It dries really well on the eyebrow and it doesn't actually smudge throughout the day. And the brush that I'm using to fill in my eyebrows is called a 263 brush by MAC. And it's a small angle brush. concealer palette to highlight under my brow bone um, ideally your concealer is meant to be one to two shades lighter I like this color for me because I find that it really conceals and it really gives me a nice highlight beneath my brow bone so don't be alarmed at the brightness remember that you are going to blend it in later so it's fine for it to be a little bit whiter <music> Um, you don't want to have the halo effect so really make sure that you buff out the concealer really well um, the top part is not that important because you are going to cover it with your foundation as well so it's okay just make sure that beneath the brow is really blended in like what I'm doing right now to prime your face i'm using the hd nyx primer um, i find that it's really good for photos actually the only thing that i would say is when you rub it in it's gonna leave like a ashy sort of look but it's fine it usually bends in once you put your foundation on so don't um, be too worried about that one you'll be fine so here is my favorite 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 foundation um over the past two years, I've tried out quite a few foundations, but I think I've actually found my favourite. This one is the Black Opal Foundation Stick. I'm using colour Truly Topaz, and the colour that I'm using currently, right there, is beautifully bronze. I mix the two together because I find that it gives me my perfect skin tone. The coverage is 
simple, it's flawless, it's it's just perfect for women of colour and I would definitely recommend it to um, anyone really. You can find it online, just um, on their website, the Black Opal website, or you can, there are different um, beauty stores in the UK that do actually sell Black Opal products. So just keep an eye out for them and you will find them. They're absolutely phenomenal. Remember, I'm wearing Truly Topaz and Beautifully Bronze. I'm using LA Girls Concealer to highlight my face and my T-zone area. I'm using shade Pure Beige. I really love this one. I've been using it for quite a few years now and I find that it's remained the same. It's still got the same coverage. So yeah, I swear by this one. Decreasing, I find that it really does help to sort of keep decreasing away. Mineral Skin Finish by MAC in colour shade, I should say dark. My favourite, I've been using this for about two, three years now and um, I swear by it. The coverage is amazing and, I, and, and do you know what I really love about it actually? I love that fact that it doesn't actually give me that cakey look but the coverage is still there. That's what I really love about it. using a darker face powder by covergirl to contour i really really love the finish of this um powder it's really silky and it just gives me really nice hollows in my cheeks <laughs> um which is why i really love it this one's by covergirl i'm gonna list the exact shade name below in the description box i'm using a blending brush by bh cosmetics to contour my nose 
I prefer using this than the actual contour brush because the contour brush is too big so it doesn't really help me to line my nose as well. I can't actually remember where I got this fan brush from but it's a lifesaver, I really love it. I use it to just highlight my cupid's bow and my top lip. <laughs> Um, now I'm gonna line my lip with Cork by MAC. This is my go-to lip liner for everything, every day. Um, yeah, I'm just sort of lining my lip with that one. I like it because it's not too dark and not too light, so it lines really well with the color of my natural lips. but it doesn't dry like I can't even describe it it's matte but it's not dry it's it's yum it's fun. it's it's good buy it using my favorite blusher by MAC in shade brazen just applying a bit of mascara on my eyelashes before I put my strip lashes on I just find that that really helps the eyelashes to grip when you apply them um, the mascara that I'm using is by MAC it's called In Extreme Dimension if you like me and you really love a black waterline I would definitely recommend Feline by MAC it's a jet black coal like eyeliner which is why I love it so much when applying your fake eyelashes just make sure that the glue is really sticky and tacky that way you know that when you're applying it onto your actual lashes it's really gonna stick I also find that pinching your eyelashes with the fake eyelashes really help make it look natural. Now I'm just dusting off the excess powder, setting powder that's on my face, using a real, a real, or oh, real techniques <laughs> brush. Um, yeah, as you can see, like it, it just blends in really nice. It doesn't leave any ashy, finishy, powdery look. Makeup is not even done, but you're gassed because you can just see the vision. <laughs> now I'm using a real techniques duo fiber brush to apply my highlight. Um, this highlight is by MAC, it's called Soft and Gentle. Soft and Gentle will always be my favorite. I really love it, and it doesn't give me that ashy finish that everyone seems to be talking about. So, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, if you're like me and you love the spider eyelash effect thing, yeah, this is for you. I layer on mascara on my bottom eyelashes. I drown, I bathe in setting spray, like it's not finished, <laughs> there's more. <laughs> and this is the final look ladies, I hope you enjoyed it, I really love doing this tutorial for you guys. Um, just subscribe, like and comment what you want to see next and see you soon.